speaking with Richard Maturo. He is teaching the course Shakespeare's History Plays with uh, the Berkshire Ali program. And Richard, so to, to go through this, you know, to, to create a curriculum, uh, there's usually some common thread uh, to you put things together. So tell me about your process and how you put this course together and the plays that you're choosing to, to focus on. Sure. Um, Shakespeare wrote about um, nine or ten history plays. Uh, we'll be reading only five. Uh, in in this course, uh, it's a six weeks course, and the first the first week is just going to be an introduction to Shakespeare in general and his era, um, and then the five we'll be doing are Richard the Second, Henry the Fourth Part One, Henry the Fourth Part Two, um, uh, Henry the Fifth, and then Richard the Third. Now Shakespeare wrote two sets. They're sometimes called tetralogies because there are uh, four in each set. And the interesting thing is, chronologically, he wrote the first four after <laughs> <laughs> the second four. In other words, when he started writing, he, he was uh, writing the Henry VI plays. Mm -hmm. And then he went back and started... To do the prequels, as yes, it were. Yes, did prequels. <laughs> uh, began with Richard II. Now, the... The ones he wrote later on are better, <laughs> mm -hmm. and those are the ones we're, we're concentrating on. Uh, and so it w there is a direct line between uh, Richard II and Henry V. Um, then we, we skip the Henry VI plays. Um, they are full of uh, <coughs> thunder and lightning and rant, and um, they have their own interest, but I, I would not want to um, impose them on a class. Um, but finally, in Richard III, which was the last of that f first tetralogy that he did, then he, hit, he really hit a home run. Uh, mm -hmm. that, uh, uh, that play was popular in its day, many, many editions, and people on the streets of London were saying, a horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. Mm -hmm. uh, he really became popular after that play. That was that was the coming out party, as that, it were, that was for for yes. Shakespeare to yes. for Shakespeare to come become Shakespeare yes. essentially in, in a fact, lot of ways. The first time he is ever mentioned in print, although his name is not, but um, he is um, uh, there's a scurrilous um, <laughs> uh, pamphlet which um, makes fun of him, and it uses um, it it uses a line from one of the Henry the Sixth plays, I think it's part two, uh, and um, because but they, uh, they call him an upstart crow, mostly because the people who wrote for the theater in those days tended to be university graduates. Um, tell me if this sounds familiar. They have this wonderful education and they can't get a job. <laughs> And so many of them wrote for the... more for the things change, the more they stay the same, right? Many of them wrote for the theater. Shakespeare didn't go to college. He was an actor. And he must have realized, gee, I could do this. <laughs> and first he started patching old plays, and then he started writing his own. So the university graduates see this very successful guy who didn't even go to college writing <clears throat> better than they could. And, and so the first reference to him is, is this rather nasty reference, uh, but we can tell it's about him because they even um, make fun of his name. They call him um, Shake Scene. Mm. Amazing. Uh, but it shows, hey, those who are successful <laughs> are always going to get that, uh, the, the negativity. You know, they're, they're always there, the, the naysayers. But obviously, Shakespeare, we're still talking about him today. We're still yeah. teaching courses about him today, reading him uh, and, and having new uh, adaptations of, of yes. all his work. So in it, it continues. So it's powerful, powerful stuff, obviously. Yeah. Uh, so and, and it's been it's part of your passion. I mean, you're you're a writer yourself. Yes, right. uh, and, uh, you know, so so what about Shakespeare? Why, you know, why are you so passionate about Shakespeare? Oh, well, um, it goes way back to college days when I um, simply started, started reading and I had to, I was an English major, um, but had to decide what, uh, what area to specialize in. 
And um, once I read more and more of the plays, it, it became obvious that that was, um, that was where I wanted my specialization to be. Uh, and they're, you know, they're a font of, of um, all kinds of things. You can, you can read the plays over and over again. You always see something new. Um, and, and the language, uh, just you know, reading passages, reading passages in class, um, hearing them, um, taking people to see plays or movies of, of plays. Um, it's, uh, it's just a, a, a never-ending source of uh, um, pleasure and enrichment. So. We're speaking with Richard Baturo. The course is Shakespeare's History Plays, presented by Berkshire Ali. We'll continue the conversation right after this.